Eric. <laughs> how are you? I'm well, Javier. Thank you very much for having us here in Indianapolis. I mean, what a better place to be uh, to try. To, I mean, like it's not a race car officially, but it's like really close, and you are responsible to bring that to the public, right? Yeah. Well, the vehicle dynamics on the car. You know, one thing I try and do with that we try and do in all the SRT products is to have the biggest ride handling envelope. And one of the key enablers for that is the adaptive shock absorbers, the Bilstein adaptive shock absorbers. So they can be soft when they need to be soft. They can be firm when they need to be firm. They're not using um, the magnetic MR fluid yep. viscosity. We actually literally have two shocks on each one. The main shock is the firm oh, valve. Oh, and it's got it. Yeah, the main shock is the firm valve, and this canister, which is the side of the shock, is the soft valve. And there's an electronically controlled solenoid that switches between them and can switch in 35 milliseconds. So we tune the soft valve to be very soft, and the car would be floaty if you locked it in yeah. soft. But there's accelerometers on the body, and when it senses the body heaving and pitching, it'll dither in a little bit of firm valving and catch the car. So you can have a really good ride without having that kind of floaty, sickening feel. And then in sport mode, we put them in firm rebound, and then in track mode, we're running on the main you know, Bill Stein okay. um, shock, shock absorber, which has plenty of damping, and it's designed to work at the track to maximize grip. Okay. So we're driving in the Dodge Challenger Hellcat widebody, but wide body. first, Let's talk about the Hellcat. It's been a huge success. I mean, you launched it almost four years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, three three years ago, but this almost. is an 18, 18 so this yeah. will be four okay. years of, this will, this will be the fourth year, 15, 16, 17, 18, yeah. And it's been a, a huge success, more than 26,000 units sold, I understand, and uh, now you added the wide body. Why was that? What was the reason behind that? Well, the demon, the demon uh, wanting to put the uh, drag radials on it gave us the opportunity to have, take those flares and put them on the regular Hellcat and do a, a new tire. We actually have a four-season and a three-season tire from Pirelli that's a 305-3520. And you know, tires are like computers. Tires get better every year, you know? And so if yeah. I can get new tires, on, the technology's yeah. always moving. So it's a huge, it's a huge advantage to just be able, I'm always excited as a Dynamics guy to get new tires. And we got a chance to uh, open up the box and go after the tires on this car. So not only are they bigger, it's the new Pirelli um, P0 tread pattern you're going to start seeing coming out. Again, new compounds, construction specifically designed for the vehicle. And um, we picked up a fair amount of grip. We grew up to 0.97 G on the skid pad. And it's still a normal tire. This isn't yeah. a race tire, right? Okay. That's not going to yeah. work if it's cold outside or something. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and have decent wear. And then um, we, we're, we're going two seconds faster per lap on the two track, yeah. which is significant. It's amazing. And then we drove the car from, I mean, there was a long loop, not directly, but we drove it from Indianapolis Motor Speedway to here to Lucas Raceway. And actually, when you go on the street mode, uh, the car is like so comfortable to drive. I and mean, it's 707 horsepower. Still, you like, you can enjoy like a very leisurely drive. I mean, you you don't feel that, that you are in a race race car like this. Yeah, well, you know, I think we're, we're channeling the old original muscle cars, which weren't race cars from the factory. You can run them on drag strip, you could put them on the track. Yeah. But a muscle car is a fun car that you can drive every day if you want to drive it every day and just enjoy the enjoy the vehicle it's perfectly reasonable to drive every day you just gotta you know use your brain before you put that hammer down all <laughs> yeah, the way a little bit yeah and uh and it's it, it's the, the car is very linear it's very easy to drive you've just got to have some self-restraint with the throttle so in these uh, times where like most of the industry is going hybrid electric efficient and all that why is uh, dodge uh, doing this the, as tim said the passenger car market is declining overall but we're selling more challengers and more chargers than we ever have and i think embracing embracing what this car is you know it's a visceral car it's beautiful to look at it's uh it's it's not just a transportation device and you know you can i, I can get 22 miles to the gallon in a hellcat on the freeway and okay. gas is still pretty cheap right and i, I can know. get 25 in a scat pack so that's just amazing on a, a car that goes even the scat pack goes almost 180 miles an hour and runs 12 seconds in the quarter mile. That's just a, an amazing amount of performance combined with everyday usable, usability. So the, all the economic factors out there in the market and all that, but also I guess like the new technologies, the new ways to implement race technology into a car, a, a production car, I guess that has facilitated that uh, to, to be able to produce this car, right? Sure, sure. All those things we do in racing and getting to know the car well. You know, we've been on the Demon, we've been, 
you know, racing drag pack challengers for quite a yeah. while. And, you know, they have even more charged drag pack, which is not a street legal car, and they're significantly lightened, you know. But, I mean, those are 1,100 horsepower. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the Demon is kind of a bridge in between the Hellcat 840. and the drag pack. Yeah, the 840. And it, but it really is designed to be a drag racing car and feel like it. This this uh, wide body again is a is a different flavor. It's also not limited production. We're going to keep making these. You can still get it with a manual transmission. I which, drove that one, which also was really easy to drive. I mean, like because some of the in this kind of power range, and you will expect to be like a hard thing to do. But I was it was pretty easy to. And it's the Viper transmission. Yeah. Uh, we, um, I, you know, the automatic is faster accelerating. You got eight course, gears, yeah. you got a torque converter. If I were racing the car, I would want an automatic transmission to win. But yeah. when I'm driving the cars on the street as a street car, I prefer the manual just because it's more engaging and it's fun. The, uh, you know, the clutch efforts aren't out of the world. The shift efforts are fine. It's just a really nice, fun package to drive every day. And, uh, you know, what are we doing? We're a car company, we're evolving the Hellcat. And now we've got the wide body with more tire on it, more modern tires, more grip. Um, we lost, you know, the car still goes 195 miles an hour. It's, and it's just a fun, you know, it's this car is just so much fun to drive every day and it's accessible, right? Yeah, exactly. A person with, uh, that, maybe, I mean, like, I don't know, you're gonna take it as a compliment or not, but like, I mean, obviously that technology, the engineering, it's amazing, but the, Pricing is even more amazing, I think, because I mean, it's like about eighty-five thousand. This uh, the wide body, the wide that. body, yeah, and, and like know. it's like a lot of car for that kind of money. I mean, the ratio of horsepower and performance for dollar is incredible. Well, and you can also just drive it every day and enjoy it. Yeah, it's not so special. You get a dent in the fender, you fix it, you wreck it, we'll <laughs> make another not. one. You know, that's the that's the the thing that I think is a shame to to treat these cars. Add, like their museum pieces, these yeah. we, just, we want to these cars to be driven, driven yeah. and enjoy it uh, while it's out. You know, live in that, live in this time frame, right? Live in 2017, 2018. Yeah, we we were it, driving yeah. Hellcats. It was a fabulous time in your in our lives. Excellent. You know? Yeah. Well, we're gonna go now to the drag strip here, and I understand that you used to 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 drive here a, a few years ago, right? To well, road, here? road racing here, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then for NHRA, uh, there's always a national event here on Labor Day weekend exactly. at the drag strip. Well, thank you very much for your time and uh, for letting us enjoy your cars here in Indianapolis. Again, like the perfect place to experience uh, Dodge SRT, uh, both on the street. Oh, we don't want to <laughs> <laughs> We don't want to have an accent before getting to the drag strip. Well, thank you very much, Eric. Thank Good you. Pleasure. Here.